Yeah, look, I'm pretty gutted to be honest. Um, the win, um, you know, the first of its kind in 13 years, to win by 47 points against Collingwood, uh, to play such a pivotal role, it just sort of means nothing. Um, you know, to you know come to the boundary line and to, to, to hear a 13-year-old girl call me an ape. Um, and it's not the first time on a footy field I've been referred to as a monkey or an ape. It was, it was shattering. I, I turned around and when I saw it was a young girl and I thought it was 14, that was my initial thought. I was just like, really? I was just like, how could that happen? And, and all this week, you know, this week is a celebration of our people, our culture, and I had the absolute privilege of meeting the great man, Nicky Wimmer, um, two days ago now and what he was able to do for us 20 years ago and to be able to make a stand myself and say you know racism has a face last night and you know it was a 13 year old girl but it's not her fault she's 13 she's still so innocent I don't put any blame on her unfortunately it's what she hears not the environment that she's grown up in that has made her think that it's okay to call people names. I can guarantee you right now, she would have no idea you know, how it makes anyone feel by calling them an ape. Um, I think you know, it, it was just the name calling that she was doing. And unfortunately, you know, it cut me deep and um, it affected me so much that you know, I couldn't even be on the ground last night to celebrate a victory, to celebrate Indigenous Round. and. Um, you know, I'm still shattered. Um, personally, it's yeah, it's tough. Um, loving the support of my friends and family and people in the social media uh, is fantastic. But I think the people, the person that needs the most support right now is the little girl. Um, you know, people need to get around her. She's 13. She's uneducated. You know, if she wants to pick up the phone and call me and apologise, I'll take that phone call. And I'll have a conversation with that girl about, you know what, you called me a name, this is how it made me feel. And it's school stuff, it is school stuff. And that's what it took me back to last night, was I felt like I was in high school again, being bullied, being called all these names because of my appearance. And I didn't stand up for myself in high school. I'm a lot more confident, I'm a lot more proud about who I am and, and my culture. And I decided to stand up last night and I'll continue to stand up because you know, racism has no place in our industry, has no place in society and hopefully any person out there that's been name called, has been verbally abused, can stand up for themselves after seeing what happened last night. Is this the 